Good day everyone! I am Shirlene Vargas, your instructor in mathematics. So for today, we're gonna learn about the divisibility rules of number 2 to number 13. But first, let, let me give the meaning of divisibility rule. Divisibility rule is a shorthand way of determining whether a given integer is divisible by a fixed divisor without performing the actual division, usually by examining its digits. So, before we proceed, let me give you the let me give you um a trivia. So, do you know that Martin Gardner is the one who explained and popularized these rules during 1962? Yeah, that is correct. So, let proceed to the visibility rule of number 2. So, an integer is divisible by 2 if the last digit is even. So, let me give you an example. 72. So, the last digit of 72 is 2. So, 2 is an even number. 2024. 2024. So, the last digit is 4. 4 is even number. Another one. 1,041,999. 1, so, the last digit is 8. So, this one is divisible by 2 because the last digit is even number. So, let's proceed in an integer divisibility rule of 3. So, an integer is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. So, for example, yung 72. So, yung 72, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. So, 9 is divisible by 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So, 72 is also a divisible by 3. Another one. 1,869. 1 plus 8 plus 6 plus 9 is equal to 24. 24 is divisible by 3. Another one. 9,999,666. 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 is equal to 54. 54 is divisible by 3. So, now in divisibility rule of number 4. An integer is divisible by 4 if the last two digits is divisible by 4. What do you mean by that? Oh, for example, 824. So, the last digit of 824, the last two digits rather, is 24. So, 24 is divisible by 4. So, meaning, 824 is divisible by 4. Another one, 2,448. So, the last, di the last two digit is 48. So, 48 is divisible by 4. Another one, last one, 2,482,052. So, the last two digit is 52. 52 is also divisible by 4. Am I right? Yeah, that is right. Now is the divisibility rule of number 5. An integer is divisible by 5 if the last digit is either 0 or 5. Example, 180. What is the last digit of 180? 0. So, it is divisible by 5. Another one, 4,795. The last digit of it is 5. And... Last digit is 5, that is why it is divisible by 5. Another one, 8,976,545. The last digit is 5, and 5 is divisible by 5. So now, is the divisibility rule of number 6. An integer is divisible by 6 if it's divisible by bo both 2 and 3. So, Earlier, we discussed the divisibility rule of number 2 and number 3. So, number 2, if it is even or 0. And number 3, if it is the, when you sum the last two digit, is divisible by 3. So, let me give you an example. 36. So, 36, the last digit is 6, and 6 is even number. 
And when you add 3 plus 6 is equal to 9, and 9 is divisible by 3. So 36 is divisible by 6. 1,452. The last digit is 2, and it is even. 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 2 is equal to 12, and 12 is divisible by 3. So 1,452 is divisible by 6. Another one. 9,852,666. The last digit is 6, and 6 is even number. And when you add 9 plus 8 plus 5 plus 2 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 is equal to 42, and 42 is divisible by 3. Meaning to say, 9,852,666 is divisible by 6. Now is the divisibility rule of number 7. An integer is divisible by 7 if subtracting twice the last digit from the rest of the number gives an integer that is divisible by 7 or 0. Take note that you can repeat the process until you're comfortable to deal with it. So for example, example number 1, 91. So 1, the last digit of 1, times 2 is equal to 2, 9 minus 2 is equal to 7, and 7, the result is 7, which is divisible by 7. So 91 is divisible by 7. Another one, another example, 4,956. So the last digit is 6, and 6 times 2 is equal to 12, 12 minus, 495 minus 12 is equal to 483. So, 3 naman yung last, no, last number. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So, 48 minus 6 is equal to 42. And 42, the result is 42 which is divisible by 7. Now, is the divisibility rule of number 8. An integer is divisible by 8 if the last 3 digits is divisible by 8. For example, 880. 8,880. So, the last three digit is 880. So, 880 is divisible by 8. Another one. 27,264. The last three digit is 264 and 264 is divisible by 8. And last one, 3,887,696. The last three digits is 696. 696 is divisible by 8, meaning meaning to say 3,887,696 is divisible by 8. Now, divisibility rule of number 9. An integer is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is, is divisible by 9. Example, 1,404. 1 plus 4 plus 0 plus 4 is equal to 9, and 9 is divisible by 9. Another example, 12,636. 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 3 plus 6 is equal to 18, and 18 is divisible by 9. Now, divisibility rules of 10. An integer is divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. Example, 890. The last digit is 0. I mean to say 890 is divisible by 10. Another one, 8,954,970. The last digit is 0, meaning to say 8,954,970 is divisible by 10. Now, the divisibility rule of 11. An integer is divisible by 11 if the alternating sum of its digits is divisible by 11. For example, 143. Um, 1 minus 4 plus 3 because it is alternating sum is equal to 0. And 0 is divisible by 11. Another example, 9,416. 9 minus 4 plus 1 minus 6 is equal to 0. And 0 is divisible by 11. Another one. 868,395. 8 minus 6 
plus 8 minus 3 plus 9 minus 5 is equal to 11 and 11 is divisible by 11. Now, the divisibility rule of number 12. An integer is divisible by 12 if it's divisible by both 3 and 4. Earlier, we discussed the divisibility rule of 3 and 4. Example, 456. 4 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 15 and 15 is divisible by 3. And that is the rule for divisibility of number 3. And for the uh, divisibility of number 4, the last two digit is divisible by 4. So, 456, the last two digits is 56. And 56 is divisible by 4. Meaning to say, 456 is divisible by 12. Another example. Um, 587,580. When we add those numbers, is equal to 33, and 33 is divisible by 3, and the last two digits is 80, and 80 is divisible by 4. Um, the last one, the divisibility rule for number 13. An integer is divisible by 13 if subtracting 9 times the last digit from the rest of the number gives an integer that is 0 or divisible by 13. Take note that you can repeat the process until you come up to the number that you're comfortable to deal with. Now, example, 91. Okay, 91. 91. The last digit is 1 and 1 times 9 is equal to 9. 9 minus 10 is 0. And the result is 0 which is divisible by 13. Another example, 637. The last digit is 7. 7 times 10 is equal to 63. 63 minus 63 is equal to 0. The result is 0, which is divisible by 13. And that's it for our lesson for today. I hope you understand what we talk about today. So, see you next time.